I guess you know that by now. This is my first date doing stand-up comedy tonight. I hope you make me feel all welcome. You can make me laugh. You can laugh at me for the next five minutes. That's all my ex-girlfriend ever did. <laughs> and for you ladies, I don't mind if you fake it. I'm quite used to that also. <laughs> for all of you that really don't want to stay, just walk out about halfway through. I've been used to that most of my life. <laughs> my best mate recently got caught shagging a sheep. It was bad news. In the village, word spreads quickly. And the one thing that his dad beat the shit out of him for was because he was stupid enough to get caught. <laughs> this is the same mate that I went to Thailand with on holidays. I knew he would get me in trouble. <laughs> How the fuck did I know Asian women had penises? <laughs> and to add to insult, it was double the size of mine. <laughs> it was a weapon. It was that much of a weapon. If Tony Blair had it turned up in Thailand, he would have confirmed Thailand was hiding weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> oh, hold on a minute. Didn't, didn't expect these many laughs. I then come back from Thailand, and I went home to see my folks. They made a sex tape. I didn't get a chance to show them yet. <laughs> so then, alcohol, it runs in Irish people's blood. Yeah. 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 At least there's one or two here. <laughs> Who would have thought that we would need alcohol just to make sure the peace process would still work? My granddad only started drinking when he was 80 years of age. He was so fed up of being poor. He decided he's definitely not going to be rich and he wanted to enjoy the last few days of his life. We were so poor that when my grandma went to cremate him, she ran out of firewood halfway through. <laughs> 